This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Free Stater and former New Hampshireite Cat Canning is a pretty difficult person to criticize. However, by making a mistake about nine years ago, I think it was a mistake, uh, she taught me an important lesson that I'd like to share with you. I don't have a picture of it, but she brought a sign to, I think, some sort of a polling place or demonstration, and the sign said, uh, free or slave, make your choice. The, the issue that was up for debate was whether a, a New Hampshire town should uh, try and secede uh, from either New Hampshire or from uh, maybe part of uh, a larger town. It may been, maybe it was part of a town trying to secede from another part of a town. And I think this sign made a mistake that I see a lot of different liberty activists making when they construct a sign. The sign sort of orders someone to do something. Uh, now, then this is a sign, for instance, that orders something to happen, but it's not so bad because it's just it's ordering the government to do something. They're already your enemies, and they're supposed to be your servant. But I think it's when you make a sign that sort of orders a neutral party to do something, someone you're trying to get them on your side. You don't bark orders at them. And technically, again, Cat's sign is not near the worst of, of them that I've seen. It, uh... It is sort of just ordering someone to make a choice, but it just sounded so hyperbolic and shrill that it stuck in my mind for many years as the kind of sign I didn't want to make. In her case, it was particularly out of place because she wasn't even from the, the town that was trying to secede, or the region that was trying to secede. Didn't live there. So to people who did live there, it probably felt like outsiders coming in again and barking orders. There is no limit to the amount of annoyance average people can work up against any kind of activism that they perceive as being shrill. I would not be surprised if Kat taught this lesson to herself many years ago, because I don't remember her ever carrying a sign since then that was uh, bossy like that. I remember she did carry one that said, uh, Bass is a traitor. Uh, this was probably about eight years ago, and she was talking about the congressman, Charlie Bass, who voted to impose uh, national identification on the American people. That one might have been shrill, but at least it uh, had the saving grace of drawing a lot of attention. And that's really all a sign needs to do, is sort of draw attention. This one was one of my favorites can't remember, actually, if I made it or someone else made it. Of course, much better than this, though, would have been something that was just plain funny. Anyhow, just a thing to remember when you're making a sign, no one is going to like you for making a sign that barks an order at them. Egypt people is very nice, and if the Egypt people take my advice, they will strike down the one party state they fear. But that had better not happen here, cause we know that everything would fall apart if the city of Keene, New Hampshire starts to listen to the malcontents at Free Keene and sort of kind of cut spending, cause the government needs some expensive things like the wasteful 34 West building and the boondoggle jail where we put hat wearers and other people who could be considered swearers freaking dot com